Greetings from Baku. My name is Michael Rahal. I'm an international master, and I'm bringing you the highlights of the first round. Game two of the match between Javiera Belen Gomez Barrera from Chile and Candela Francisco from Argentina. This is the woman section. Now, I've chosen this position because I think it's highly instructive and very interesting. It's a rook ending with two pawns against one. Many times these rook endings are drawn, but here we will see a way that Candela Francisco could have won the game. Gomez Barrera has just played h4. Obviously her idea is that if black captures the pawn, then she gets back the pawn and this will be a draw. The other idea behind is that if Candela advances her pawn, then again this pawn will drop and the game will be a draw. So, at this point, Candela used up nearly all her time. She was left for 10 seconds, and she found a very interesting strategy. This is very instructive and something that you need to learn. She played king to h5, a very good move, and after pawn takes pawn, this was the key idea. Now, you can join me here and try and choose which move would you do. Would you capture the pawn? Or would you play king to g4? Take your time, make your decision. Candela, very low on time, <clears throat> in the last seconds played king to g5, allowing the game to head to a draw. Because this is a theoretically drawn position when the king is in front of the pawn. However, those of you who've chosen the move king to g4, have already improved your chess because now black will use the white pawn, the white extra pawn, as a shield to prevent white from checking behind. And this will be a win because the king will advance and there will be a checkmate on the last rank. For example, if the pawn advances, king to g3, already checkmate can't be stopped. Another option would be for white bringing the rook back to defend. In this case, and this is obviously the variation which Candela didn't have time to calculate. In this case, black wins with a very nice idea which also should be memorized. And as you can see, black gets a new queen on the board. So, for those of you trying to improve your chess and struggling with rook endings, Remember, rook and pawn against rook is a draw if the weaker side is king is in front of the pawn. However, if you can use one of your opponent's pawn as a shield, you're in for a good chance to win.